In our community, we suffer from racism. We suffer from violence. We suffer from poverty. And we suffer from intolerance. This great organization, the St. Paul Area Council of Churches, brings people together to look at these issues and in some way come up with responses for them. I wholeheartedly endorse the work of this great organization, and I invite you, individuals, communities of faith uh, traditions, I invite you, business leaders, to get involved with this St. Paul Area Council of Churches. You would be amazed at what can happen. Not many of us are able to say personally we can celebrate 100 years of uh, outstanding work in response to a call to make the world a better place. But certainly the St. Paul Area Council of Churches is able to do that. I, in fact, have been a parent with the American Indian Program uh, in the Department of Indian Work. I've got a personal testimony, a lot of firsthand experience with the great work the St. Paul Area Council of Churches is doing to support students and their families in getting a great education that is culturally specific here in St. Paul. We have issues around race, race and racism in the community that's a real challenge for our youth. I think they're really struggling with finding their own place. It's something that should be very obvious and has been of great concern to our African American and American Indian communities. In fact, our students continue to be slower or further behind than majority students. Kids are really challenged to have uh, uh, challenges with stable housing, challenges with a good education system, uh, challenges to make sure that they have food on the table. Uh, if you look at uh, parents that either maybe a single uh, head of household who is struggling maybe with one job, maybe with two jobs, uh, issues like quality daycare, uh, is there a safe place for their kid to be after school? Project Spirit and Freedom School are essential programs in the St. Paul community. Uh, in a community where African American children are increasingly adrift. They've been assisted with great tutors. They have fantastic reading material that's culturally specific. Snacks are provided that are nutritional. And in fact, it keeps the students busy. Their mind, uh, their hands, and their spirit all thinking about I'm learning and this is very exciting. It provides an anchor, it provides a base, it provides a context for them to understand where they've come from and hopefully it gives them the tools to, to chart a better future, a future that doesn't involve guns and gangs and drugs. Mount Zion got involved with Project Home about five years ago approximately, and it has been one of the most incredible experiences for our community. Project Home is a project of the council that addresses the issue of homelessness in Ramsey County. Each month, through the participation of 250 volunteers working in churches and in schools and synagogues, the council provides housing for families. Mount Zion opens its doors one month each year and has people come to help out with the shelter and as well to learn the stories of the people who are coming, to get to know the folks there and to learn what they can do at, on an advocacy level for more justice in our community. And this past year, for example, 442 families were housed, which would include over 500 adults and upwards of 800 or so children who were, would have been without homes. And I don't think there is a single other organization that does this work as successfully as the St. Paul Area Council of Churches because we work with the St. Paul Area Council of Churches on a congregational level, touching where people really are. We actually have a number of people in our church that are, are affiliated with the St. Paul Area Council of Churches, but I personally am involved with the Gateway Service Project. We collect items for the crisis nursery, um, such as diapers and formula and um, anything a baby might need. The St. Paul Area Council of Churches makes it so easy to volunteer. If you wanted to participate, they provide the bulletin inserts, they provide the dates, 
that the drive is occurring. They provide a convenient drop-off time, and they even run out to your car and pick up the items and bring them into the building. They provide coffee and cookies when you arrive, and if you didn't feel good enough about donating and helping your neighbors, your very neighbors, their gracious thank you for the things that you did makes it worthwhile. As a matter of fact, how, how important it is to, to celebrate 100 years. It is a wonderful way of recognizing what we have done. It is a wonderful way of appreciation of what we have accomplished. I think it's really important that people of faith have a catalyst, such as the Council of Churches, that draws us together to express that we do have a concern and that together we can create solutions to many of the problems that exist in our community. When a crisis happens, uh, it's at it, that moment where I think our faith is tested and it is so important for people to see members of the faith community standing there uh, prepared to assist, prepared to help them. So we have to do it together, hands in hands and shoulder to shoulder. I really like to thank the uh, St. Paul Council of Churches for their hundred years of great service to the city of St. Paul and I want to congratulate all of you and uh, let's join the celebration. Besides celebrating the Council's work over a hundred years, we can look back at the results and see the achievements and all be very glad for what has been done. But I think we can also be very, very inspired as we look to the future realizing that the problems may be great but that the solutions too are many when we work together.